On today's episode, we are going to talk about where should you focus your social media efforts if you don't know if your audience is there. Hello, and welcome to episode 36 of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name is Aaron. And my name is Christian. And today we have Joseph Krasta from Meta Consultancy. Hi, my name is Joseph Krasta. I run a small business called Meta Consultancy. The purpose of my business is to help other companies develop standards and operating procedures. A lot of my clients are three to five years old. They have 100 employees or more. They're fairly old and they don't always do business on social media. In fact, a lot of them prefer not to do business on social media and I'm finding that a little bit difficult. So my question for Bit Branding is being that my client base is well-developed and not on social media, what is the priority ranking for the social media platforms that I should have for my business? Okay, so the first thing that we would tell basically anyone would be to really know your audience. And even though you might not think that they're on social media, some of them might be. Mm -hmm. But for your company in particular, uh, we would suggest definitely email as the number one, uh, LinkedIn, and uh, on third place, Facebook. And anything else like Instagram, Twitter, yeah. I mean, you could do it in the future, but at this point in time, I don't think it will be beneficial for for your company. Right. So companies that are tagged or <clears throat> that you're targeting, uh, more than likely they're looking at your website, and you are much more likely to get them as a client if you get on their email inbox. So if you give them something of value, get in their email box, uh, follow them up with on LinkedIn, and you're touching them at those multiple points. But using something like Instagram, if you know that they're not very active on social media, uh, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense yeah. Right. Uh, but with Facebook, there's a 50-50 chance for that your target market should be there. So we're saying that's enough that you should you should spend some time there as well. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's uh, hear your tip for us. A lot of times I tell my clients to imagine that they own a pizza restaurant. Let's say on day one, you hire two employees to make pizzas for you. And you tell both employees to go make a large pepperoni pizza. So they both go off and they try to produce what they think is a large pepperoni pizza and they come back to you, the owner, to present the results. Now one of them thought a large pizza meant 14 inches in diameter, the other thought it meant 9 inches in diameter. One of the employees baked the pizza at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, the other baked the pizza at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The problem here is the two pizzas are going to be drastically different from one another, and the two pizzas are going to be different than what you, the owner, expected a large pizza to be. So my tip, if you, if you see anything like this in your business where the results are inconsistent, my tip is to evaluate that procedure and document it as best as possible the way you want it to be done. That way, that document in hard copy or digital format can be given to all of your employees so that they produce consistent results. I completely agree. <laughs> we completely agree. Bit Branding agrees, and I think everyone else should agree that you need to know, you need a set of instructions, you need these standards in order to produce those consistent results. And that's exactly what we're doing uh, right now. I mean, we might not need them really right now, those procedures and instructions, because it's just three of us, but we're thinking ahead in the future and, mm -hmm. and you need to set these things in place now in order to be uh, successful in the future with these things. Right, I was gonna say, and even with three, we're getting the, the, the groundwork in place to, to make it successful, because if you don't practice when you're small, it's gonna be a lot harder when you're practicing it when, it's, when you're big. So, uh, we are, full disclosure, we're, we're doing this in our company right now, and you know we've already mm -hmm. seen success with it, so that's a great tip. If you want to find out about Joseph, there's going to be more information in the description. And if you are a business owner wanting more exposure on Facebook with advertising, reaching thousands of people in your target market, all you have to do is go to bitbraining.co forward slash tip for tip. One of us will get a submission form, reply back to you, get you on the show, and you can grow your business. That's all we have to do. Yep. See you next week.